Hi, I'm Kiave, and this is my MPX Semester 1 POL. The essential question is, throughout this semester, how have you grown as a learner through the lens of the Mid-Pacific Learner Profile? This is the question I have to answer, and I will use Superman to assist me answer it. If you don't know who Superman is, Superman is a superhero who can fly, and has heat vision, and has super strength and everything. He's pretty awesome, and he goes through a lot of challenges, and he has his challenges are more like defeating bad guys and and violent or stuff in my yard going through school and as different as they sound they're relatively similar. My first learner profile is communicate effectively using multiple mediums, spoken, written, artistic, and digital. Uh, the artifact I'm using is the carbon infographic. The carbon infographic uses written and artistic ways of representing how carbon was affected to the human body. I learned a lot about the human body's effect on carbon and how carbon is affecting the world. And for this project, we weren't supposed to pick, or we were supposed to um, learn about carbon. We used the human body to learn more specifically about it. So that was kind of cool. And I was successful in working with my group and getting this project done and getting a good grade. Um, a challenge I had is drawing, because I've never really been very good at drawing. So um, it was, I was a little lucky that my um, crew member knew how to draw a little bit better than me, so I feel like I can improve on that and maybe just getting the easy stuff drawn, like tracing circles and writing stuff and using stuff that is easy to do, just so I can get a lot of work done. And um, Superman um, uses multiple mediums when he is at his real job, as when he's Clark Kent, a reporter, and he he uses like spoken by interviews and written by writing it down and yeah. My second learner profile is collaborate with and posit by global peers. So for this global peers, um, we can't really use global peers as much, so it's just we collaborated with our own peers getting these walks across. And the Haiti of Fishbond field trip is what the artifact is and what we did for this field trip is we learned a lot about the fish pond and how the fish pond works, like the zooplankton, phytoplankton, and the chain of the chain of how the, the fishes in the food, in the uh, fish pond get their nutrients. And it was kind of cool learning about that and how the Hawaiians got their fish. And so when we were moving these rocks across for them uh, to help them out, since we had 40 people, so we got to collaborate very well with us and the fish pond workers. So um, a challenge was getting some of the bigger rocks across because some rocks were too big for one person because they were just like insanely huge rocks. So collaborating with a couple of peers would help so um, we could get it across better. And an improvement I think I could have is maybe not collaborating with the same people. I could maybe collaborate with more different people that I didn't do every time with. And we were successful in getting a lot of rocks done in, sh in a shorter time than they expected. Superman collaborates with um, Wonder Woman and Batman to defeat Doomsday. And he tries to defeat Doomsday by himself. Like, I would try to get a rock across by myself. But he needed Batman and Wonder Woman's help. My third learner profile is apply creativity and imagination to problem solving. This project was, or uh, the Native American Photoshop project is my artifact, and this project was a very uh, basic project um, when it comes to the instructions. The instructions were simply to pick a, uh, an event that has been changed by colonization and make a Photoshop project about it. We weren't really given a bunch of specific details about what needs to be on the um, on the Photoshop um, itself. So we had to use creativity and imagination to come up with the things we wanted to put on it because it had to be related to our topic. And I learned a lot about how it, how, um, how domestic violence, which was the topic we picked, was affected by colonization because I've never really known about this topic that much. And um, a challenge I had was working with this app, the Photoshop app. So luckily, my teacher helped me out, and I and I kind of figured it out a little bit later. And 
we problem solve by when not knowing how to do certain <laughs> when not knowing how to do certain things with the app we could um, find out another way to do it since there's many different tools that were possible to use in this app. And um, I was successful in getting this this project done with my group member and we presented it later on. Um, so Superman normally doesn't have a plan when he goes into battle. Um, so he has to come up with one on the way. So he uses creativity and imagination to do so. For example, in the movie Batman vs Superman, he has to defeat Batman to get his mom back. So he goes in to, and sees Batman and turrets surprise him, and he has to he has to use creativity to come up with a plan to destroy them. So he uses his heat vision to do so. My fourth one of profile is build social, emotional awareness and empathy in an, increasing in an increasingly interconnected world. And the artifact I'm using is the global issue infographic. This infographic, we basically researched about a global issue, and my, my group's topic was society, so we covered over the five points here. Poverty, pollution, overpopulation, starvation, and water. Water is like the shortage of drinking water. Um, and so, I learned a lot about how bad the world was and I kind of got more um, emotionally aware and empathetic for the people that are suffering and I kind of just, it, I didn't notice how bad like things are getting and like it's definitely getting worse and yeah so we got to, we got to work with three group members on this and uh, some challenges were um, having, having a, to get a lot of the like a lot of those stuff down since there's a lot of information about each topic so kind of choosing what specifically we wanted like the more important stuff like for example instead of writing like some science stuff behind it and like numbers you want to put like the stuff that stands out like people like dying kind of is important or it just kind of stands out and it's eye-catching and so we kind of focused on writing that instead of the science behind it so graphs and stuff that really is more engaging. So I kind of learned about that. And, and a challenge is, or an improvement I think I can make is maybe getting just the first draft down sooner and the layout. That way we can spend more time on the final draft to make it more neat. And Superman uh, is aware of people dying, so he saves them all the time because he can fly, so he does something without and he's, he, he's emotionally empathetic because his father dies, so he knows what it's like to lose a family member. My fifth and last one on our profile is maintain a positive mindset and belief in the value of persistence and learning. And the artifact is Socratic circles. So Socratic circles are when we gather in a group of seven or eight people and we talk about the book or the recent chapters in the book we recently read. And what I learned from this is it's a good way to get um, your thoughts about the book, but it's kind of hard to get your points out since it's graded, so everyone wants to talk, so it's very frustrating when someone interrupts you or goes when you want to talk or something. So I kind of, a challenge I had when that was going on is kind of just forgetting about it and moving on, I kind of just like, I kind of just like, was disappointed, I was just like, uh, and then, but I think if I were to keep a positive mindset, then I could just, if I missed a talking point or got slightly interrupted, I could just, wait for the next turn and just go in and get my talking point. So I think I can improve on that next time. So luckily I learned from it this semester and hopefully I can get better next semester. Um, so Superman keeps a positive mindset when his father dies because he knows he dies for a reason so he doesn't like let it stop him from saving people and doing a bunch of good stuff. So he just moves on and saves people and these bad guys. Um, thank you.